Well, today we are on the south coast of Puerto Rico, and we are going on the uh, the Mas we're going to hike on the uh, Maceta Trail, which is in the Guanica Dry Forest. So um, this is actually a I don't know a six point something mile one way trail. We're not going to do the whole thing, but we're going to go out for a little bit and uh, come back, and then you know we're going to hit one of these beaches here on the south coast. So it should be an interesting day. Welcome aboard. So what's really interesting over here is that they talk about protecting the Puerto Rican crest and toads home. And look, one of the things I read about people talking about was the toad nesting area hmm. and how you had to uh, avoid the toad nesting area. We will probably pass places where we can't uh, go near the toad re resting area. And I thought, what toad? The coquis are everywhere. But they're talking about the Puerto Rican crested toad. That should be interesting. Let's hope we can find some of these uh, toad ponds. Ponds were built in 1992 and 2011. So uh, let's go look for some toad ponds. It's a, it's a uh, endangered species. <laughs> It is. Here it is. This is a Playa Tamarindo. We're going to take a little detour. Take a look at the beach. This is probably the one we're going to be hanging out at after we get back from our back from our hike. No big spacious palm trees here. No. Maybe we can get some shade from that guy. But it's, uh, it's an interesting little beach here on the south coast. A little seaweedish. So of course it extends over there, so we'll maybe it's a little better over here. Some of the cactus here in the dry forest. It's pretty interesting. There's the cactus. And here's the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for getting the joke. Here's a really interesting tree. The cactus right beside it. There's some sort of berries growing on it. I don't know what that is, but that's a pretty interesting little tree there. Right off the trail. The ocean. Down there's Tamarind Beach. The bay here. Pretty interesting place. And so it comes right up to the edge of the ocean with his dry stuff, as Lisa just pointed out to me. It's uh, it's really, really fascinating here. Must not be a lot of rain. Probably really not. No. We were just talking about that area that was closed because of flooding, and it's so dry. It must have been yeah. closed for flooding a flooding long, long the, time ago. Well, flooding from uh, probably the ocean. Missed that. This guy's out here spear fishing. The guy we just saw, right? Yeah, we just we just passed this on the trail. There's a little bucket, it's got a snorkel, it's got a spear. So we get some of this uh, scrub-like little itty bitty trees, large bushes, mostly dry. Really, really interesting. Check out what kind of rock this is, but this stuff is super, super sharp. It 
I don't know if it's coral or volcanic, but uh, it is. It is super sharp. This is not what you think of when you think of Puerto Rico. This is so, so interesting. I don't know if you can hear this, but the waves coming up against this outcropping. When do you ever see the ocean right behind this? You don't. This is just so, so fascinating. Here's a little cactus patch we stumbled across. And this is a different kind of cactus than we've been seeing. And these are just super, super fascinating. Look at these things. They look like red velvet from a distance. Yeah. But I, I tell you what, you don't want to, I'm sure you don't want to touch them. I'm not. Wow, look at these things. Let me get the sun right here. Wow, that is super cool. Just in this one little area. And a different type of cactus, one that we haven't seen here before. It's quite intriguing. Wow. Here's the rocky coast of Puerto Rico. interesting hike today don't you think it was it was a hot one hot one it was That's... hot and dry it was almost torture being right next to the ocean for a lot of it with the ocean crashing in these amazing cliffs and uh, and yet we're up there next to this scrub and bristle and cacti of all different kinds I never expected to run into anything like this in Puerto Rico. No. But now I know that's why they call it the Guanica Dry Forest. Yeah, exactly. And uh, we went uh, we've got about two hours now, almost exactly, from uh, when we left the car to when we came back. So uh, that, was, uh, that, was, that was a nice hike and probably going to be in the range of about somewhere a little under three and a half total for us. Yep. So uh, it, was, uh, it, was, it was spectacular, Un totally unexpected. So. so, come with us on our next hike and on our next journey, and until then, may your suitcase always be messy. And don't forget to ring the bell and subscribe to our channel so you'll be notified of our next exciting adventure. Hasta la vista! No. Oh, look at him. <laughs> this is Tamarine Beach. Found ourselves a big tree here under the shade, as we always like to do, and uh, just uh, chilling out here. Not the uh, little dry, lots of dried seaweed here, but uh, it's a big, it's our neighbors.
and uh, but big bay of course we're on the caribbean side not so much much big waves and uh because this is somewhat out of the way i suspect that the, there's not ever too crowded here on the way home stopped at uh hopefully the town of guanica here in the bay and uh we're going to have, hopefully have some dinner. It's Monday, so not much is open, but we'll see what's open. Over here at uh, Trasiego. But a uh, cute little strip here. Not much on it. Three restaurants in total. But uh, the Malacone here is well maintained. Looks super nice. And uh, little castle up on the hill. I don't know if you can see it. It's up there. Here's the primary tourist attraction in Guanica. This uh, rock, I guess, uh, constructed by the 3rd Battalion, 1st U.S. Volunteer Engineer in uh, September 1898, almost 125 years ago. So I guess they were the ones who actually constructed this malecon or parts of it at that point in time. And of course we got the famous, the famous Guanica chair. Here you go. There it is. Are you going to get in it? Of course. Well, I hope it doesn't break under you, <laughs> under the weight of you. There you go, the famous Guanica chair. There you are with a, a true Puerto Rican tree frog. <laughs> the frogs that we, the uh, endangered frogs that we didn't see today. That's right. We didn't see those ponds. Maybe we didn't hike far enough. Mm -hmm. 